a ship on the surface of water sends a signal and receives it back from a submarine inside water after 4 seconds so this is a ship there will be a submarine inside so a signal is sent and returned back it takes 4 seconds and this, uh, so they are asking how much is this distance so time is 4 seconds speed is 1450 meter per second so speed is equal to 2d over t 1450 is 2d upon 4 so so that's 2 so the distance is 1450 into 2 and that distance is 00 meters so that is 2.9 kilometers it takes the the distance between the ship and the submarine is 2.5 uh, 2.9 kilometers let's do the next one okay this is an interesting question it says that a pendulum has five vibrations per second so that means i will write over here so that means it has five vibrations in one second now the pendulum is set into motion and a gun is fired but when the echo is heard the pendulum has completed eight vibrations so therefore eight vibrations will take t seconds how do we find that t so we can do cross multiplication or unitary method so this will be 1 into 8 upon 5 and that will be 1.6 seconds okay so therefore the echo is heard in 1.6 seconds till now whatever questions we did the time was mentioned here we have to do a little more to get the time so speed is given as 340 meter per second time is given as 1.6 seconds and again they are asking for d so s is equal to 2d over t so that means 340 is equal to 2d over 1.6 340 into 1.6 upon 2 this will be 0.8272 meters that is the final answer okay let's move to the next question fine so in this question what information is given a person is standing between two cliffs so let's see this is a cliff and this is another cliff and the person is standing between the two okay so let us say that the person is standing at a distance of d1 from the first cliff and d2 from the second the sound that he produces goes in both direction but this sound goes and returns back in 4 seconds whereas this sound goes and returns back in 6 seconds they are asking us to calculate the distance the total distance so of course the total distance is d1 plus d2 okay so we are going to use the formula s is equal to 2d over t speed is given to be 320 so this is 2d1 upon 4 so 2 ones are 2 twos are so d1 is equal to 320 into 2 so that will be 640 meters now in this we have 320 is equal to 2 times d2 over 6 two ones are two threes are and this is 320 069 960 meters okay so what will be the total distance uh, d is equal to d1 plus d2 and that is 640 plus 960 and that will give us 1600 meters so the distance between the two cliff is 1600 meters in this you can take the total time as 10 seconds and then do it you will directly get an answer but then you would need to explain that what if the person is standing on top of one cliff and then when he says something and then he gets the reflected sound back in 10 seconds so that distance would be the distance between the two cliff and we will get it as 1600 okay but the, that explanation need to be written that is some working needs to be supporting your answer for you to get marks thank you let's move to the next question Okay, so the information provided over here, there are two people. So let me write down over here. This is person A, and there is person B. There is a cliff. Okay, so what it says that a person standing at a distance of x in front of the cliff. So let me take this distance as x. Uh, another person B standing behind person A at a distance y from the cliff. So this distance is y from the cliff. Okay, now. the person a fires a shot so when this person is firing the shot the sound is traveling in both 
directions. So therefore, this person will hear the sound directly and that will be the first sound, whereas the wave that will hit the cliff and then reflect back, so that will be the second sound. So it says that the person is hearing the sound at the interval of 2 seconds and 3 seconds. So when I'm talking about the first, so speed is equal to distance upon time. Now here I'm not taking echo because the sound is coming from an observer. Sorry, I'm not taking echo because the source and the observer are different. So like for example, in the first case, A is the source and B is the observer and the sound is traveling direct. So also, what is this distance? This distance over here is x, this is y. So this is y minus x. So here I'm taking 320 as y minus x upon 2. So I'm getting y minus x as equal to 640. I'm calling this as my first equation. Now, in the second case, what is happening? So I'll explain it one more time. The sound is leaving the gun. Okay, so the sound has gone here. The sound has reflected and reached B. So that means it has covered a distance x and then it has covered a distance y. So if I have to use speed equal to distance upon time, so therefore 320 will be y plus x upon the time taken, in this case is 3 seconds. So that means y plus x is equal to 960. As you can see now, there are two equations and therefore they have to be solved simultaneously. So I have y minus x as 640, I have y plus x as 960. When I add these two equations, I get 2y and this is 0, this is um, 1600, that will be. So y is equal to 800 meters. And then after plugging in, what do we get? So we get 800 plus x as 960, so x is equal to 160 meters. So the value of x, value of x is 160 meters and that of y is 800 meters. Okay, it's quite an interesting question. Let's go to the next one. This is similar to many questions that we have done so far. So on sending an ultrasonic wave uh, from a ship toward the bottom of the sea, the time interval between sending the wave and receiving is 1.5 seconds. So this is a echo question and the speed is given to be 1400 meter per second. Again, students, if you want to understand like why or how do we understand this is echo. So you can see that the wave is sent from the ship and the wave is received by the ship. So the source and the observer is same. Therefore, we take it as a echo question. This is D. We get it as 1050 meters. Okay, let's go to the next one. This question is a visual one. Over here, there are two waves given, A and B. And the first thing they are asking us to compare their amplitude. Now, from the mean position, the maximum displacement is called as the amplitude. So these are the amplitude for A. And here you can see that this is measured in centimeters. So therefore, amplitude of A is 10 centimeter whereas that of B is equal to 5 centimeter. So this is 5 centimeter. So here we have amplitude of A upon amplitude of B, that is 10 over 5, 2 upon 1. So this is 2 is to 1. Okay, now let's move to the wavelength part. So what makes one wave? So therefore, this is a wave, a single wave. And this is also in centimeters. So I'll say wavelength of A is 8 centimeters. So this is 8. And now for B, this is half a wave. Now this is a full wave. And this is 16 centimeters. So wavelength of B is 16 centimeters. So wavelength of A upon wavelength of B, this is 8 upon 16, which is 1 upon 2. So wavelength of A, wavelength of B, the ratio is 1 is to 2. Okay. When they say compare, your answer always have to be in the form of a ratio. 
So these were some numericals of the chapter sum. Okay, we'll stop for here now. Thank you.